there's rec riding, then there's varsity riding, which is a pretty big commitment. It's um, four days a week, and then we normally have horse shows on weekends. Rec riding is great for people who maybe don't want as much competitive pressure or just want to try something out. But varsity riding is a great option if you want to compete and really um, push your limits as a rider since we have both a hunt seat and a western team and we compete interscholastically so against other high schools and people our age and also in the A circuit horse shows which is very competitive. Rec riding student that rides the maximum rec riding could would be four to five hours a week. A varsity student, if they rode on both competitive teams and horse showed per week, could ride up to 15 or 20 hours a week on, on any given week with a competition. I ride every day. We all ride every day from 3 o'clock to 6. So it is a big commitment. So I think that like if you if you really are committed to something and if you really want something, you just gotta do it. Okay, Kate, your reins have gotten a little long. Just a little long. Good. Brittany, that's plenty. Softer outside rain. Try to keep that steady rhythm at the canter. Good. All the way past the jumps there. Now trot. Make it happen. English it happen. riding is kind of um, a long derivative away yeah. from what initially was fox hunting, uh, steeplechasing, racing. Uh, the English saddle, the jumping, it's all kind of come down the lines and been mimicked after that. Whereas the Western riding is a direct descendant of kind of more ranch work. So the cows and the quick turns and a little bit more of that agility stuff. Um, granted, that's not what we do here, but that is the, you know, where it all came from originally. At Greer, the kinds of competitions that we offer, baseline is the interscholastic competition. Draw format, you know, one day, unless we're hosting, which we do try to host at least four times during the school year here at Greer, um, because, you know, our facility is one of the biggest in our zone, so a lot of other teams actually like to co-host with us. We also do nationally point rated shows for Huntsy and for Western. And when we plan our schedules by semester, we really try to go by what do we have that kids are interested in and goal oriented in right now. You know, if, if we need to do more Western at any given time, we'll, we'll put it in. If we, for instance, have a child that really wants to chase points in a particular venue, we will add that venue in. Greer is very successful, especially in the interscholastic meets. We are um, first or second in the zone almost every single year. We've competed at nationals for the past five years. Our Western team's first year, we got fifth place at national finals. And we are very successful as a team and as individuals. And also something that our team is always the one having fun. <laughs> and we're kind of, I guess, known for making it a good time and having fun with it and doing well. So it's nice to be the team that does well and is nice and has fun with it. We've been praised at horse shows for being the team that cheers the loudest yeah. and is the most supportive <laughs> of all the riders when they're in the ring. So, And it's great to have that support from your fellow riders. The show barn is beautiful. It's big. I mean, it, there's a lot of riders, and so we needed a lot of space, and I think now we have that. And this barn is usually filled with horses that are privately owned and horses that are traveling quite often to horse shows. It's connected to our new indoor facility, other than our indoor, we have two very large outdoor rings, one comparable to the indoor and the other one that is almost twice the size. The girls really get a lot of extra time back and forth and taking the horses up the hill and, and to the outside rings, back to the inside rings. It's very, very nice that we have now the stabling connected to the inside ring. So when the weather is really poor, um, the girls are just steps away from school and they can you know, walk up and we can continue to be um, training no matter how bad the weather is. We have a very strict set of rules as far as grades and academics go um, and being able to leave and be gone all weekend. We have a very, very strict set of rules that we adhere to as far as keeping your grades up to a certain standard, keeping yourself out of trouble to a certain standard, and we're, we're very strict about that. We have three kids right now that are applying for NCAA programs, which is, you know, the highest level. They offer scholarship, obviously. Um, and then we have countless others, I think five or six that are applying to other riding programs, Western and English around the United States.
Good. Now just that easy speed down here. Don't change anything. Just be relaxed. Play with your hands. Don't let them accelerate. You can hold them a little bit going this way. So now just let them build slow. It doesn't have to be aggressive. That's plenty. Whoa. Just make him stand there for a sec. He's getting antsy. Keep him moving forward. If anything, you want to encourage him to move a little bit more forward when you go to with your hands. The writing program really teaches us how to be responsible Good. and how to work together as a team and as individuals. You know, we have to take care of our own horses. You have horse assignments and you have to clean their stall and clean their tack and take care of all you know, that messy stuff that um, maybe it's not the most fun thing, but it's something that needs to be done. And you have to really be held accountable for that. It's always in one little thing. What do you think that that's brought me? You think it's nerves? Like, what do you think you have to work on to make that go away? Like, be more aware? Another great part about the writing program and really helping you later in life is that you have the ability to set goals and really see them through. And, I mean, that's a great skill to have to be able to see a short-term goal and a long-term goal and really know what you have to do to work for it.